So hi, I'm uh, Igal Rave. I live in Israel, uh, very near to Tel Aviv. Uh, I built in the last uh, two decades a bit an expertise of uh, uh, behavioral change in organizations. Uh, for me, it's, uh, my, my biggest desire is to teach people and to consult people how to make uh, changes in their lives, in a personal life, but also in, uh, in their career and in organizations. Um, I'm 48 now, and I have three kids, um, and I'm really, really uh, uh, happy to come to, to New York and, and, and to see all of you and to discuss about the overall change. Big data, gamification, behavioral change, and change management should be all linked together. I think that 10 years ago, we couldn't even think like this. Uh, but now, with the technology, we should think like this. Because when, to, when you want to make gamification, and when you want to help people make a behavioral change, you must be very specific. Uh, according to the person you want him to, to change. So big data can give you very accurate uh, uh, information about employees, about clients, about the, the person you want to uh, uh, convince or to motivate to make a change. Now, each one can be motivated uh, from a different reason. Uh, so if you want to speak... Uh, uh, if you want to motivate people, you have to be very accurate, and I think that this, the big data can give you this, uh, uh, this information, and if you can um, make a different games and gamification to each, uh, to each uh, uh, person, to each employee, it will be even, even much bigger. Um, I, you know what, I, I can say something, an anecdote, you know? I think that each one of us, the big reason that motivates people, I believe, starts in a point where you and me really feel that somebody uh, uh, know us, somebody understand me internally, I mean emotionally, when I feel that somebody understand me, uh, in, and it can be a software, it will motivate me, it will, uh, it will, uh, give me a, a real power and desire to go forward and to do the same. So when the big data can be very accurate and I will feel that somebody understand me, then uh, it will lead uh, to an action. I think that Amazon already do it. You know, I opened Amazon this morning and they, they, they told me about three new books came up and uh, it was exactly the, the, the information that I, I you know, it, it, it's my desires about behavioral change, about basketball. So this is big data, and I feel that they understand me. I feel that I felt this morning that Amazon understand me. And it, it's a good feeling, you know, and although it's a software, it's a good feeling. I used to work in the last decade with the, with the, the biggest uh, companies in, in Israel. Uh, some of them are Nestle, Amdox, uh, uh, Orange, uh, and, and the rest. But I think when I come to New York, I want to speak about the, the new project that I have now with Alan Carr, um, uh, Alan Carr International, uh, which uh, uh, start with the diagnosis uh, and continue. Uh, we continue with the a big program of uh, not only helping people to change their behaviors or stop smoking, but also how the company, the organization itself uh, can grow and can be much better according to the behavioral change of the people in the organization. And this is something that I have a big desire to share with you because this is very unique project, very unique project that uh, really built new uh, um, a, a, a new uh, focus, a new phenomena in the, in the organization. I think that the link uh, between behavioral change and um, gamification is that uh, 
anyone who wants to change uh, his behavior or, or her behavior, uh, the desire is to reach a new result in life or in an organization. I think that gamification brings the, the roadmap, bring the, the path uh, to make it uh, in a way that uh, can avoid or minimize the, uh, the rejection to this, uh, to this change. Because uh, gamification brings uh, fun, brings uh, much more focus on the results, but bring uh, a focus not on the, on the fears or the beliefs uh, or the pains uh, in the way to the new results. So I think that when gamification change our focus, we can build a new uh, behavior. One of the things, one of the major things that uh, avoid people from making the behavioral change in many aspects is uh, self-criticism. When people build self-criticism in one hand and desires for new results in another hand, this builds a trap. And, and we're stuck in this trap. I don't think many people know it because they think that they, uh, the self-criticism can motivate them to do new things. So they rebuild the new criticism and maybe make it even bigger. But the, 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 true is, uh, the truth is that uh, self-criticism together with desires to new results built, uh, uh, built this trap. I think that gamification uh, uh, brings a new motivation not fears, uh, and not avoiding fears, and not avoiding self-criticism, but uh, uh, rebuild a new motivation why to do a new behavior. And this can help people get out of the trap. I think that um, in, a, in, a, in, a time, in times of uh, change management, uh, the management try to take the change model and um, uh, uh, and apply it in in the organization but the, the, they apply it as a rigid system and try to fit the employees uh, into this rigid system so uh, really the employee lose their autonomy uh, and lose their uh, uh, um, the, the self-confidence and they, they feel uncertainty in this and, and that's why they reject to change. I, I believe and I suggest that we have to think upside down. We have to customize and we have to uh, uh, tailor the, the suite and the model of, uh, of the change management uh, according to the, uh, to the employee. Uh, according to the employees exactly like the, uh, the marketing people do to their clients. I think that if you take a product in from, let's say, HP, and you sell it in Asia, it will not be the same language and maybe not the same product if you sell it in the, in the United States or in Europe or in the Middle East. It will be a different product, different name, different shape. Uh, you sell it differently, the brochure will be differently, the color will be different. Uh, and I think that we have to think the same uh, when we sell the change process in the organization. In addition to an expert in behavioral change, uh, my profile is an artist. As an artist, I want to tell you my desires, and I hope that you will like it. So I will tell my story, and I will explain my story, that I believe in people. I will tell you that I believe that we must understand more than, to, than ever, the, the psychology of people, what motivates people, but using not as a manipulation to, to shape them in the system, but to use it to empower them, uh, to find their big why, and to go forward with, with, with their life and our organizations. And I think that uh, my biggest desire is that uh, we, um, 
we all focus on, if we, we all focus on, a, on empower people, I think that we will build not only good organization, but also good society. So I'm not sure if, you, if, you, if it will be a new thing in, in New York or not, but th this, is, this will be my song, and I hope you will like it. 